the one man apocalypse. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Kage here, and uh, this is my second video regarding the PTR for Overwatch. And uh, what is happening with the new patch that will be coming out. And there are some good things that I am seeing. So let's go down the list. I want to start with something that I find very important. And that's why I'm on Roadhog. So what they're going to do in this patch is they are going to make it so that self-healing will start to increase your ultimate gauge. This is very important for Roadhog. And actually very important for a lot of the healers too. I'm going to get my health down here a bit. So one complaint I've seen about Roadhog when it comes to Roadhog on, say, a competitive level or even just as a tank in general is that Roadhog compared to other tanks is uh, a little dubious, right? You've got all the other tanks that can absorb damage in some way without being too much of a hindrance, right? So, of course, I go and get healed, but I want to quickly talk about them. So, right, you've got D.Va with about 500, half of that is armor. You've got Reinhardt with the same, a little less of that being armor. And, of course, Winston, who can put up a biotic shield. Reinhardt, who can put up a shield of his own. And D.Va, who's got a, uh, a buff that puts down, uh, that shoots down projectiles. And even Zarya, every single one of these characters, except for Roadhog, has some way to prevent damage. And the best thing about it is that when they prevent damage, if you're shooting at, say, a Reinhardt shield, if you're shooting at a Winston bubble, the characters that are shooting at those bubbles are not gaining ultimate charge. However, when you shoot at Roadhog, you are actually getting ult for hitting him, because in this game, the damage you do gives you ultimate charge. So that's why you might see in some maps, some characters will get their ultimate like within the first minute of the gameplay because they sat there and they shot into a huge group of enemies and they were able to charge up the ultimate quickly and then thus fire it off. But if you're firing at a, a bubble or a Zarya with a, with a shield or anything like that, you don't get ultimate charge from that. So Roadhog, you're hitting him and people are feeding off ultimate charge from him. And that's especially bad when you consider Roadhog's gameplay style to essentially go out try and do some damage if he can't or even if he can pull back and then use his uh, healing and then go back out and fire some more so what he's really doing is becoming an ultimate sponge people hit him they gain ultimate charge he heals he goes out they get more ultimate charge and in the meantime Roadhog is not getting much out of this at all because you take a look and you see he gets hit and he's not gaining ultimate charge so to fix this, the self-healing comes in, and when you're using the Roadhog self-healing, you gain about 20% of your ult. So if you look down at the, uh, it'll be about 75, it'll go up to 95 here in a second. So now, this makes Roadhog very dangerous, and actually might make him a target that is lower in priority. Because a lot of people could focus on Roadhog to try and take him out. But now, if you're not able to kill him, He'll go out, gain ultimate charge, and be able to wreck face all day, as it were, to use the vernacular. You, you may notice, though, that it does have to be actual healing. So here I am at full health. Using his self-heal will not gain me any ultimate charge. It has to be actual it has to be an actual heal. So that's the way it's going to work for all the other characters as well. Now what they've done in response to this is they've made it so that characters like Lucio and Mercy, it's going to take them a little bit longer to get the charge, but the changes were only about 10%. So what I expect to see is maybe healers getting their ultimate charges a little bit faster since they're not the ones doing damage. This might not be a bad thing, although it's, sometimes I wonder about that because I have seen Mercy's put out resurrections fairly quickly when they're good. But I do like this change when it comes to Roadhog, as he was one of those tanks that I kind of like to be to go out and disrupt enemies, and now he can be very dangerous. Alright, let's talk D.Va. D.Va's another character that I've actually had an affinity for, rather like, but I've always felt like she was a little behind the curve, fairly weak. She's got tons and tons of armor, but she is a fairly easy target to take down. Her defense matrix is fantastic, but you put it down and it goes on a long cooldown. So if you put it down to protect your, yourself and your team while you're going into a position, and then something big happens like a Reaper ult or even a Roadhog ult, then it's down. You don't have it anymore. And so it's very hard to decide when to use Defense Matrix. Now, they've linked the Defense Matrix to the right shift. Or sorry, not right shift, but right click. And you may notice that I'm kind of putting it up and back down again. It now has only a one second cooldown. But if you look on the right hand side of my screen after I do it, you'll see there's a resource bar. 
And for some reason, I'm not shooting them down. It's a very narrow cone. Very narrow cone still. I kind of wish they would widen that back up. Because you'll notice that if I'm aiming this way, I'm not shooting it down unless I'm actually aiming at their projectiles. But that resource bar on the right here will show me how much charge I have to use it. The red bar at the bottom, right there, is a comparison. That will give me about one second of defense matrix. So you may notice that if you combine that red bar going all the way up, that the total amount of defense matrix I can have at any one time is four seconds. But here's the thing, I can go out, have the defense matrix up, oh, nothing big's happening, I can put it right back down, and then I'll have my defense matrix ready a second later. Which means I can very quickly put it up if I think something's about to happen. If that thing doesn't happen, I put it down and I'm ready. So maybe a Reaper jumps in behind, I can be, oh, nope, sorry, you're not getting that. Everything else on D.Va has remained mostly the same, except for her ultimate. So the ultimate on D.Va has, has been pretty cool. I like it. I like the explosion. It can clear an area. But the uh, the explosion goes off after about four seconds, right? So generally, a lot of people have a chance to get away from it. Also, the ultimate kills you, so you have, a, you have to make sure you run and hide as well, or you're planning on killing yourself. Well, now... It goes off in three seconds and doesn't kill the diva that spawned it. So now you can go and throw your ultimate down in a group of enemies, hold the point. So, for example, you can go into a control point, put your ultimate down instead of uh, throwing it off at a distance. Like, so instead of you know rocketing off and throwing your uh, your mech into the distance and then getting on a point while you're weak or having to resummon your mech. You can walk onto a control point, throw the mech down, and enemies will have to decide do they kill you now and possibly kill themselves, or run off and you start gaining capture on the point. I would like to point out too, as you saw there, because the uh, reduction on the explosion is three seconds instead of four, that you can blow it up in the air. So you're going to have to be a bit more careful on how you throw out this ult. Throwing it really high is not going to really work anymore, because it used to be the mech would go up a certain distance and then drop. And you could get a, you could get really good uh, drop kills with that, but now you're going to have to be more a bit more careful, and you may want to consider throwing the mech forward more than down or up. Now uh, you may notice too that canceling of the thrusters is no longer shown on the left and right as uh, the left and right mouse. You can do it with the the left mouse, and you can do it with uh, hitting shift again. So if I were to hit shift again, I can stop. Uh, I know myself, I got used to hitting right click to stop the thrusters, but now right click is your defense matrix, so you can use your defense matrix while in flight still. So that hasn't changed. Before moving on, since I just verified it, yes, the uh, ultimate charge on D.Va actually happens a little bit quicker. She gets about 15% uh, less cost on her ultimate, so she, she should get it that much more often. Well, not too many changes have happened to Mercy, but there are uh, some important ones you're going to want to know. Double stacking Mercies is not really going to be that much effective anymore. Uh, it used to be that Mercy could stack up their damage boost on the Kajusia staff, and it used to give about 30% damage boost. So what they've done is they've made it so you can't stack up the damage boost with more than one Mercy, but the damage boost has gone from 30% to 50%. So the Kachusia staff will give you the same amount of damage boost as the Orb of Discord that Zenyatta gets. Now, due to the self-healing changes they've made, they have increased the ultimate charge cost for Mercy. It takes about 30% more in order to get her ultimate charge, but they have given her a few boosts to her ultimate to help her out. So now, it used to be that you would fly out and you'd have to stay perfectly still when you revive and you had no way of getting out. Now, you can throw up the heal and you're still moving and then you can fly out while you're doing it. As you saw there, I was still had complete motion control. So what this means is that, well, yes, you're going to be getting some ultimate charge through healing yourself because Mercy is one of the only characters that has a self-regeneration over time that is not a shield, and it does count as self-healing. So she will be getting more charge that way, but because they've increased her ultimate charge gauge, it should hopefully be roughly the same for her, I would think. Uh, but 
even then, when you go to use it, you can very quickly fly away after activating it. So I know what a lot of Mercies have done is kind of flown in the middle of their allies just to, to kill themselves and then resurrect everybody. And that's still a very valid tactic, but now you can also stay alive. So this actually means that Mercies are going to be far more deadly on the battlefield that they're allowed to go and resurrect their team. Uh, so those of you out there that don't hit that Mercy first, I will look at you angrily and say why. Now they did mention that Soldier 76 had a slight change. It used to be that your uh, your reticle would reset very like almost instantaneously if you stopped firing. Now it's got a very slight uh, reset. So you'll notice that when I stop firing, it kind of takes a moment to go back. It's still very very quickly. It's still exceptionally quick. So I really don't see this as being a major change. Uh, Soldier 76 is still very good at pulsing his weapon at long range. As you can see here, if you don't fire for more than a three round burst, it's still going to stay perfectly accurate. So I think they're trying to do a little bit of changing to Soldier 76. They might be trying to take away a little bit of his long range game, and I don't entirely argue with that since he is very, very accurate even at long range. Uh, and he's supposed to be more of a mid range all round uh, character. Uh, I don't know if this is really going to be enough to make any changes, so ultimately in the end, uh, I just wanted to report it for the sake of completeness, but uh, do know that that is there, so if you do play Soldier 76, uh, you may have to wait for just the briefest of moments before your aim has returned completely to normal. Alright, lastly, we're going to look at my favorite change, and that is Zenyatta getting some love here, finally. You may notice in the lower left-hand corner that he is no longer a 150 health hero. This is the character that would die instantly, one shot body shot to Widowmaker before they nerfed her, and uh, even after the nerf, he would suffer hugely, just like Tracer. Now, he's a 200-200 hero, and most of his health is in shields. He has 50 health in actual health, and 150 health in shields. So that means that you can pull out a battle and still at least have 150 health with your shields at any point you need to. Fantastic. You will also notice that the speed of his orbs on his uh, Orb of Discord and Orb of Harmony have been greatly increased. There used to be, well there still is a travel time, but the travel time used to be much slower. It is now, as you can see, nigh instantaneous. The orb flies out, there is still the briefest of moments before it actually hits the ally, but now you can very quickly get a heal on an ally when they need it, or an orb on an enemy. And that is always the problem that Zenyatta had, was if he was firing at enemies who could quickly ditch around a corner, if he put the discord on them, the orb flew just slow enough that the enemy could get around the corner before the orb actually hit them, and you wouldn't get any damage out of it. Now, it fires so fast that I could throw out the discord and be hitting them with my orbs and getting that damage boost immediately. So I'm glad to see that Zenyatta has gotten some love. They have also drastically increased his speed when using Tranquility. In fact, it's so fa vast that it's become a meme online already, and uh, people have basically shown just how fast you can get a Zenyatta with a Lucio and an Ana ult. It's really just absolutely crazy how fast you can go in Zenyatta. The last thing of note with his uh, Transcendence, though, is that it has also been increased from 200 health a second to 300. Uh, they didn't like that it could stop, that you couldn't really stop a lot of uh, ongoing damage, so I'm guessing we'd be looking at things like a level 3 turret from uh, Torbjorn, maybe even a Bastion. Now Zenyatta should be able to stop almost all uh, steady incoming damage, again, which would be like your Bastions. But he can't, he still cannot stop burst damage such as the Rip Tire. Uh, or even a uh, large burst from, say, multiple Faras or something like that. If he, you do a lot of damage at once, you can still get through his healing, but if you're just doing a steady stream of damage, like Soldier, for example, you're not going to be able to get through it. Right, that, pretty much covers it that pretty much covers it, again, uh, for all the characters that have been changed on the PTR. If anything else changes, I will let you know, but overall, these changes look to be good. I do like that the characters that I felt were weaker and... Uh, not as supported, look like they'll be much better now. We might even see some more competitive usages of characters like Zenyatta, uh, Roadhog. While not unseen in competitive, I always felt like um, it was very difficult. If a team was coordinated, being a Roadhog was difficult. If they weren't coordinated, then usually you could kind of pick people off at a distance. Um, usually it was easier to counter a Roadhog with 
good numbers and and uh, keeping him at bay and then everybody would be getting their alts now roadhog can get his alt quickly and so roadhog is far more dangerous so yeah I, I think i like this i think we'll see some changes once this comes out from ptr i have no idea how long this is going to be on ptr as they really haven't said uh but if you want to try it, you can just go to your Blizzard launcher, and when you go to Overwatch, change your region to the PTR. You have to install it. It is pretty much a full game install, uh, but the moment you install it, it should stay updated every time there's a new PTR, so you shouldn't have to install it again. You would just install a PTR patch. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's anything you think I missed, anything you think I should have gone over, uh, any suggestions or whatever, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you very much, and have a great day.